For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television here on this Wednesday, September 28th, my name is Ian Kelly. These are the stories we're following at this hour. Four Wyndham County projects have been awarded downtown tax credits by Governor Scott. In Bellows Falls, the historic Brown Block on Canal Street will be upgraded using the state tax credits to complete required code work, including hazard abatement and installation of a sprinkler system. On the square, tax credits will support installation of a sprinkler system in a three-story mixed-use commercial building. In South Newfane, a former residence turned in will receive major exterior repairs while starting up a new business focused on hosting retreats that will employ local instructors. In Townsend, a historic house will be repaired and painted with the support of a facade credit award. Brattleboro Town Clerk Hillary Francis says November election ballots are being mailed to most residents. If you have not received a ballot by October 7th, please contact their office. There is a secure drop box in the Municipal Center parking lot where voters themselves or a friend or a family member may return their ballot in the signed certificate envelope that will be sent with the ballot. They encourage voters to use this method. You can also return the ballot in the mail using the prepaid return envelope. Greenmount Power is adding grid-connected energy storage in six communities to further accelerate its work to cut carbon and costs for customers while strengthening the greater grid. Greenmount Power is working with battery companies and local developers to build cost-competitive energy storage projects in Vermont and purchase battery power to put back on the grid to save customers money. The storage project selected will nearly double the current peak energy savings for Green Mountain customers and batteries will be in Georgia, Springfield, Bethel, Middlebury, Bristol, and Barrie. U.S. Senate Appropriations Committee Chairman Patrick Leahy says the state will get an additional $5.7 million for heating assistance in a proposed continuing resolution to keep the government open. According to Leahy, no family should have to choose between heat or heat. Eat, Leahy was the leading advocate for securing new funding for the prop popular program and the continuing resolution, which is estimated to help more than 6 million low-income households nationwide. WTSA Sports, no rising for the judge last night. Aaron Judge still at 60 home runs in his chase to break Roger Maris's record. However, a Yankees 5-2 win over Toronto helped secure the American League East title. For the Yankees, the Yankees and Jays play again tonight. Garrett Cole on the mound for New York. First pitch is at 7.05. The Red Sox managed to outslug the Orioles yesterday 13-9. Those teams play again tonight with Rich Hill on the mound for Boston. First pitch is at 7.10. For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television, on this Wednesday, September 28th, have a safe and tremendous day, everybody. My name is Ian Kelly.